So hi dear Leo, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a general love reading for all the Leo Sun Moon Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the roles can be reversed also. Third thing, this is a reading from 28th of October till the 3rd of November for those who are in complete no contact or no communication and wants to know what's going on on the other side. If it is not resonating, it's not your story. You can just skip the video. If you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. If you want to start your self-healing journey with hope, oh no, oh no, but don't know from where to start, you can definitely start by purchasing my masterclass. Again, the link is in the description box for the same and it has the power to change your life for the rest of your life. Trust me on that. I'm doing it from a very, very long time now. And if you want to have one-on-one -on -one healing sessions or personal readings, you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same. So let's start. Okay, Leo, the person that you are in no contact or no communication with, their current feelings for you right now are, let's see. We have the King of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Hanged Man. Now, it could be very much possible that they are having a pull towards you and they have somebody else also that they are dealing with uh, uh, like apart from you as well and they're stuck, you know. This person is not able to understand which direction they should go ahead with. They should uh, like come towards you or they should go ahead with the other person. So basically, there's love uh, for someone and there's passion for someone, right? So I really don't have any idea which one is the lover one, which one is the passionate one. But they are stuck between two energies here where there is a lot of love to, to, uh, towards one person, one energy. And there is a lot of passion, a lot of fire towards other person, other energy. And they are stuck in between these feelings of what should I do? I have this connection with this energy as well. And meanwhile, I have this kind of feelings of attraction and pull towards Leo as well. Right? So they are trying to make sense of what they are feeling for, for you. And they are watching you from a distance. They are trying to understand what they literally feel for you. And they are trying to make sense of it as of now. Because they are stuck between you and, a, and another energy. Or if there is nobody else in their life, if you know that, they could be trying to realize that they are trying to realize whether they love you or they have just lust for you. It's just an infatuation or love. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for the situation between you and them? We have the Seven of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Cups. Their intention is to keep their intentions to themselves. Right? They don't want to come towards you with this kind of energy of, hey, I just want to have your like uh, physical intimacy with you and I don't want anything more because they don't they themselves don't understand what they feel for you say so right now they just want to keep their energies and emotions to themselves until unless they are going to understand what they truly feel for the situation this is actually a very good thing they don't want to come towards you with any kind of deceptive energy so uh, let's say if uh, they don't want to come to you with this energy of I love you but they don't or I just feel uh, physical attraction towards you but that's more than that so they want to keep their emotions to themselves right now and they don't want to be deceptive in any way any way in this situation, right? Because they don't want to have the same kind of disaster in this connection as it happened with the you at some point of time between you and them. Let's see what action is this person going to take towards you, if any, by the 3rd of November, Leo. We have the Two of Cups and the Page of Wands, the Lovers. Wow. See, Leo, I do see somebody coming towards you, but they are going to make sure that they are going to tell you that they are dealing with something else or someone else also that is equally important for, for them as you are. Now, you can make sense of the situation where the King of Cups and the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands and the Lovers is there so they do feel us they do feel a pull towards you but they don't know what that pull is it is it love or is it just an attraction kind of a base kind of a connection or what so it's like uh, they definitely have a pull towards you but they don't know what that is that is why i do see this person coming towards you talking to you communicating with you and making sure that you know that they have somebody else or something else also uh, in their life apart from you as well now it's going to be up to you what you're going to do about it. Now, the roles can be reversed also. The story can be totally reversed also. They know that you are with somebody else. Still, they are very much attracted to the idea of being with you. So, them coming to you, even after knowing that you have somebody else by your side, is an indication that they are having a strong bond towards you, strong energy towards you, but they don't know what to do about it. 
but they are going to make sure that you know about it. So the uh, story, the energy can be reversed as well. Okay, honey. Now let's see the guidance for you. Eight of Swords. So you, if you can't stop thinking negative about the situation, if you are thinking about the situation and you can't stop thinking negative about it, all the time negative thoughts, negative energies, negative kind of, uh, uh, you know, outcomes are coming in your thoughts of, about this particular person or energy, then you should realize that, that this person or this energy might be not for you. I got, uh, my eyes got stuck on something. It's like there, Osho's and Tarot. Anyway, so the thing is, so try to break this mental jail and try to see things from a clear perspective, from a clear point of view. And if you are not able to do that, even after multiple attempts, it's high time for you to realize that this person, this situation, this thing is not right for you, not correct for you, at least for the time being. Okay. So thank you so much for tuning in, Leo. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.